right, I want to talk to you a little bit about a down. I'm gonna, the trick about the down is sometimes they'll pop into a down and then pop right back up. I want to encourage him to kind of stay in that position. So in the first few times, I'm going to lure him into a down. By luring, I'm going to put that in front of his nose. I st first of all, I start from a sit. Then I'm going to put that down, if, down in front of him. Let's try again. Sit. And then straight down between his front feet. Down. Almost. It's a little bit up. There. I'm going to click that. I'm actually looking for his elbow his elbows to hit the ground. Sit. There. I like that. I mean, you see how he pops right back up? I'll show you again. So he's starting from a sit. I'm going to put it right in, right in front of his nose. Here, buddy. Sit. And then down. Good. And I'm going to click that. When all those elbows, when the elbows just go straight down and make contact with the ground. Now, as you can see, as soon as he's done, he pops right up. So the way I'm gonna remedy that is I'm gonna put a few treats in my hand so I'm ready to treat him for, for remaining in place. So again, I'm gonna start from the sit. Here, buddy. And then down. I'm gonna click him for being in the down. Then I'm gonna feed him another. And he popped up. So that's all for that round. Down. I'll feed him another one. And as long as he's in that down position, I'm going to feed him. Oop, and he popped up. No big deal. So here's the next piece. I've been using a piece of food and luring him, luring him down. I'm going to now use this downward gesture and see if we can start to use that. Because I don't want him to always be needing to be lured into a down with food. Oh, that's his friend. All right, sit. Here we go. Down. I'm going to treat that. He wasn't all the way down, but I'm going to go ahead and, and mark that because I'm glad he followed my finger. Mm. That's it. So I didn't really need the food that time. I just clicked him when that elbow, when the elbows hit the ground. And now I'm treating him for staying in position. Oh boy. Because I want him to start feeling comfortable that a down is a nice place to be. He doesn't have to pop right back up. Good boy. Good boy. All right, and then we'll ask for another. He, now he's like, I just want to stay in that down position. It's comfortable. But let's see if we can do another rep. Down. Here we go. And he pops off. No big deal. Come on. Good boy. Sit. Down. Very. So again, right now, it's that two-finger motion. And I'm kind of making a big gesture right now. Over time, I'm going to fade that gesture so it's not so big. Pretty soon, you'll just be able to do a little whoop, and he'll pop into a down. But I'm happy with this. So now that he's in this mode of staying in position, I'm going to start moving myself a little bit more, wiggling, moving around, so he gets the idea that, oh, it's a nice, even though I, she's moving, I don't have to. Not a bad gig, just to hang out and collect food. I love that. It's very nice. So when you start this at home, I would go back to the original way with food. You'll put a little food in your... Let's see if I have a little bit. You'll put some food in between your fingers. Ask him for a sit. Put that treat in front of his nose. And then the food. But then after you've done that four or five times, he's going to expect that that's what's coming. Then you can start to use this gesture, and then the click, and then the food. Okay? Good boy! He says you're out of food. You're no fun. All right. Good job. Thanks.